to see for the first time it opened them up and to such a good crowd here and uh, it's fantastic but first first we would like to thank uh, Carolyn Murray and Sarah House of the public library who offered uh, this space to artists and um, they gave the local artists the opportunities to show their work and that's very important because it's not so easy but this is a fantastic start so um, I would and one of our um, guests in the guest book they wrote exactly how it is. Uh, this person wrote, finally, the arts have found a home. So I would like you to give uh, the library people a big applause. Um, we also like to thank the press. And uh, yes, if it was not for my art students, also this would have looked very different because they <laughs> kindly lend me their easels. <laughs> Thank you, my art. <laughs> um, well, um, I paint, but I also try to uh, do a little bit of poetry poem for you, and it's called The Power of the Brush. Mm -hmm. It's my eyes that see your land. My vision is as colored as the brush in my hand emotions that I truly feel, people and raw nature shown in abstract or real. The artist in me is a mere fool, but my brush is a powerful tool. So I paint just what I see. It's a journey. Please come with me. <laughs> to give the word to another poet, an artist, and someone who is really supportive of arts and culture in this region. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Frederick MacDonald. Thank you kindly, Louise, Uzma, Margaret. How are you all doing tonight? Good. Very good. good. Show of hands, who's, who are artists here? <laughs> About half the people. <laughs> How many artists here are frustrated that there's no art gallery for emerging artists here? <laughs> All right, so one of the things I'm going to discuss tonight, and hopefully we're going to start something, a movement towards uh, doing that. So I met Louise down here one dark evening. <laughs> Music was playing, wine was flowing. <laughs> Her husband was at the back table. <laughs> Uh, she, I was introduced to her by uh, Marsha and um, Ray Floyd. So I'm a established artist. I've been I was I, I did it for 15 years, made a living at it, and have had many art exhibits all over North America. So uh, a few years back, I was asked to run a bunch of companies. So I went from an artist to a CEO. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I just absolutely love art, and the art this evening is very beautiful. So congratulations on an awesome exhibit this evening, ladies. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, if this is the kind of the caliber of work that is here in Fort McMurray, I'll tell you that there is definitely a need to have an exhibit space designated for the artists in McMurray. So I think that's what we're trying to achieve. And I think we're going to form some kind of organization and group. Mm -hmm. I see Gary's here, so we may have to abscond him and tie him up and use him as ransom so we can get a gallery. <laughs> <laughs> so Gary's from the Piano College, probably most of you know. So, um, What can I say other than that um, there is definitely need in McMurray for a space to exhibit. Uh, I know when I first started showing up here, and I think Gary can attest to that, is that um, art is hard to exhibit in a town that is culturally void. Of, of, of just the appreciation for fine pieces of art and people's visions and, and expressions and, and uh, uh, if we were to paint uh, motorcycles and snowmobiles uh, and put a for sale sign on it and I think you'd probably do way better but uh, it's not to say that the 
the rest of the world here is, don't enjoy their lives. It's that I think in my studies as an artist in university is I feel that uh, Canadians as a whole we're not raised to appreciate art. They're raised to appreciate and worship false idols like hockey players. So many that's my feeling on that. Um, so you know, I think one of the things here in Fort McMurray is that there's definitely a need for a space where people can come or children can come and um, be a part of a community that uh, needs to grow, a place where expression needs a home to uh, come alive in. And so with any luck, tonight's a good night to start that. So I think we're going to try to form some type of organization. And I think our main goal is to work towards getting a gallery here. So mm -hmm. if you're ready for that, <coughs> we have the team that started right here with the three ladies, and I think we it's its going to be an upward battle, but I think with many connections we have throughout this, probably this evening here, that we can work towards that, so. Um, I think that's all I have to say about that. First of all, thank you all for showing up. It's such an appreciation. And sorry for the cancellation of the opening ceremony. Mother Nature was our biggest day. But uh, yes, it's a very positive sign seeing you all up here and like promoting the art and encouraging us. Yes, we do need a space. We do need a space. For me, um, the structure of the community is based on, it's like a human structure made of body and soul, and for me, art is the soul of the community, so we need to put some more efforts to bring it to the body. So, we need your help, we need to have, we have to try to things, we have to put some things on there. Hopefully, it will be still be here, and so, so, okay, thank you, enjoy. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Last night we had a, a potluck at our at our house, and uh, we uh, determined to initiate uh, uh, an organization uh, so that you know basically it's the same basic premise uh, as uh, put forward here by Fred. Certain things that uh, gradually the city has uh, implemented, like uh, you know. Uh, Connor's here, and uh, the city's beginning to initiate a kind of balance between all of the things that have accrued to the sports area. If you think about it, this building is somewhere around 200 million. The one over behind Keanu is another close to 100 million. The one up in, in Thickwood, I have no idea what it's built for. But we're looking at somewhere around $400 million in sports facilities and nothing for the arts. But those are the sorts of um, little clues, I guess. Plus, the other thing is that, you know, this kind of gathering is a very real indication of, you know, an initial level of support. And uh, so I think that we can work with that. Thank you. That was very impressive. So yes. she just took you out of the class. To see for the first time, it opened them up. And to